Welcome to Faking It Friday, where we recap each episode of MTV show Faking It. Uh, Faking uh, it! Uh. <laughs> recap of episode one. We watched the online version of episode one, and all the swearing was bleeped out. I don't know if that was the same for everyone. What's the point of adding f***ing swear words if you're just gonna f***ing beep them out anyways? I'd like to show the minute it started because it had a really sexy girl in bed. Where was this school when I went to high school? Because if being gay makes you popular, I would have been the most fucking popular kid in the history of high school. Of the world. Of the world. Really. It's very set up right from the beginning that Karma and Amy are very different. Even the shot of the mother with the herbal tea and the other mother steam cleaning with her wicked pantsuit, they come from different worlds. Karma is a lipstick lesbian and Amy is a femme. Completely fucking different. This is like Romeo and Juliet. It's a disaster waiting to happen. So episode one, Amy's plan is that she wants to get invited to Shane's party, who is a gay man and is best friends with Liam. For this recap, we're gonna call Liam Doucheface. I would call him Hottie Doucheface, but whatever. We're introduced to Amy's evil stepsister who calls Amy and Karma lesbos, which Shane overhears, and then invites them to his wicked cool party because he wants some lesbian friends. Okay, I remember being in high school and I never wanted to be invited to any house party because they scared the fucking shit out of me. I remember being in high school and desperately wanting lesbian friends. So at the party, Shane asks Amy who went under the covers first, whatever that means. I know what that means. Because Shane is craving lesbian energy. Join the club, Shane. I always want lesbian energy. And then he says, I won't blab, scout's honor. Then three fucking seconds later, he tells the entire school that they're gay. The biggest blab. Apparently scout's honor doesn't mean anything at all. One of the things we were kind of a little bit pissed about in the episode is that Shane outs the two of them, which is something you should, I don't care how fucking liberal your school is, don't do that. And obviously Karma, the straight girl, has to go for the biggest douche in the entire school. When she has the most perfect girl right in front of her the entire time. Like, what are you thinking? You're not. So basically the entire episode, Karma and Amy are in some kind of fight. Pretty much Faking It Fridays is just gonna be recaps of Amy and Karma scenes. We don't have time to watch all the other Well, ones. that's all we care about. Because really, there's only gonna be 10 minutes of Amy and Karma scenes, and then 10 more minutes of rewinding kissing scenes. So, I mean, it's quite obvious, and you know, they alluded that Amy's gonna be the gay one, but Karma is really good at faking being a lesbian. Because she has a line when she says, oh, I made your favorite, tuna salad. They've been together for what? 30 minutes and they've already moved in together and Karma's already making sandwiches? How old are they, 18 and they're living together and they're making each other's lunches? Lesbians, you're doing it right. Remember when uh, Amy and Karma broke up for the first time and Karma was talking to Hot Douche Face and he was like, oh, I hope it wasn't because of what happened yesterday. Fuck yeah, it was because of what happened yesterday, you fucking idiot. My girlfriend doesn't mind when I make out with other boys. Don't go down that road, MTV, of boys that don't care about girls being in committed relationships with other girls because it's not the same. Or boys just thinking, oh, I can turn that lesbian straight because you can't. You can only turn straight girls straight because they're straight. You're going down a dark road, MTV. We watching you. And then Karma obviously realizes how perfect Amy is and goes to make up with her when Amy is sitting on the edge of the roof. Now we aren't baby dykes anymore and have seen a lot of LGBT film and TV. All of them. Everything. And we have it ingrained that if we see a lesbian on the edge of a building, that bitch is gonna jump. Nine out of 10 times lesbians on buildings jump. Fact. It's fucking dramatic. So I thought the show was over then and there. I was like, Amy's a goner. This We're is a show about a straight girl. <laughs> it was just at the moment where I was starting to finally think that Karma wasn't a totally unlikable character. <laughs> so after Misha and Piper got down from the roof, it was finally the scene we've been waiting for. The kiss. It took faking it 19 minutes and 29 seconds to show the two girls kissing. I lost track of how long it took Glee. 
And then they took an obvious dig at Glee because after Amy and Karma kissed, they cut to these cheerleaders in Cheerio uniforms. It was pretty obvious. So we're gonna give our ratings for episode one of Faking It. My rating for this episode is a C cup because it is much bigger than I expected. And I give it a B cup because I wanted a little more, but I still got something. Thank you for watching our Faking It Friday recap. Don't know what that was for. Now we're gonna be doing videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I'm sorry, that's a lot of us. You're screwed. And what would you rank this episode? A cup being, there's something there, and double D being, it's way too fucking much. Tune in next Friday, and we'll, we'll be recapping episode two. Here's a quick recap of what gay clothes Amy was wearing in this episode. Army coat, sports jersey PJs. Overalls. A donut shirt with a cardigan. Overtly hipster lesbian cardigan. We get it. You're gay.